Hey there, amazing people. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Welcome to our channel, where today's focus is all about Pedro Julio Serrano. Let's get started. Pedro Julio Serrano, born October 2, 1974, in Ponce, Puerto Rico, is an openly gay and hit human rights activist and president of Puerto Rico Paratodes, a non-profit public and social justice advocacy organization founded in 2003. He is a former advisor to former New York City Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito and to former San Juan Mayor Carmen Yellen Cruz. He also served for more than three years as executive director of Programa Vida and Clanica Translate of the Municipality of San Juan. He now works as director of public affairs at Waves Ahead. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting biography. Serrano grew up in Isla Verde, a district of Carolina. He attended primary and secondary school at the Colegio Lopedid and later studied communications at the University of Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras campus. In 1998, Serrano made history when he became the first open and hit person to run for elective office in the history of Puerto Rico when he announced his candidacy to the House of Representatives of Puerto Rico. He is also a cancer survivor, after he won a battle with oral cancer in 2010. He began his career in activism when he served as Director of Policy and Media for the Fundación de Derecos Humanos Human Rights Foundation in Puerto Rico. Later, he served as Director of Communications of LLEGO, the National Organization for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Latinos in the United States, which was based in Washington. DC. In 2005, Serrano moved to New York City where he worked as program coordinator for Voices for Equality at Freedom to Marry, an organization that fought for marriage equality. He then worked for seven years as director of public and media relations for the National LGBTQ Task Force, one of the LGBT movement's leading organization in the United States. He then worked as senior advisor at the New York City Council from 2015 to 2016 to the Speaker of New York City Council, Melissa Mark Viverito. He was the director of the Scheduling and Advance Office, as well as was her liaison to Puerto Rican and Latino communities. After 10 years living in New York City, Serrano moved back to the island in June 2016. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, Let's unpack the layers of boards and examine its core elements. Serrano has been a member of the Commission for Combating Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Discrimination of the Puerto Rican Bar Association and a member of the Advisory Board of the Puerto Rico Chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union. He has also been a member of the Advisory Committee on Human Rights of the Civil Rights Commission of Puerto Rico and the Advisory Committee of the Puerto Rican Initiative to Develop Empowerment PRIDE, an organization that advocates for the Puerto Rican community in New York City. He also served as co-chairman of the National Latino Coalition for Justice, which advocates for equality in marriage. These efforts culminated with the establishment of UNIDAS, the National Latino Human Rights Book Organization for Latinosos in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. Sorno served as co-chair of UNIDAS. Turning our focus to Puerto Rico Paratodes, let's explore its key elements. In 2003, he founded Puerto Rico Paratodes Puerto Rico for Everyone, a non-profit organization that fights for equal rights and inclusion of all communities. He is also an advocate of the social justice of all human beings in Puerto Rico. Since 2003, he has served as president of Puerto Rico Paratodes. Let's transition to speaker and uncover its significance. Serrano has given speeches and conferences in Puerto Rico in several campuses of the Universidad de Puerto Rico and the Universidad Interamericana, Universidad del Sagrado Corazon and Pontifica Universidad Católica de Puerto Rico, as well as Universidad del Turbo and Universidad del Este. He has also given conferences at the universities of Yale, Brown, Syracuse, Swarthmore, Akon, Mount Holyoke College, Hostess Community College and the Center for Puerto Rican Studies at Hunter College. 
He has also been the keynote speaker at various conferences such as the 9th LLEGO meeting the National Organization for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Latinoses, in the 2nd Educational Day Against Homophobia and the 3rd Colloquium del Atrolet from the Other Side, Perspectives on Queer Sexualities. Sono has advocated against hate crimes, denouncing and demanding the investigation of possible crimes motivated by prejudice against sexual orientation and a gender identity. He led a historic visit of elected officials from New York and Illinois who visited Puerto Rico in solidarity with the fight against hate crimes targeting LGBT people. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at boycott campaigns. In 2010, thanks to a campaign initiated and led by Sono, the Puerto Rican television program, Superclusivo, publicly apologized to LGBT communities and people living with HIV for using derogatory language against them. As a result, the television station, WAPA-TV, also released in WAPA We Respect Diversity, a historical public service campaign to educate on the use of offensive language, eliminate discrimination and respect diversity. In late 2012 and early 2013, Sono was one of the leaders and spokesperson of the Boycott Lokome, a movement supported by more than 80,000 people which resulted in the cancellation of Superclusivo, a program of WAPA TV. In 2020 Sorono called for another boycott of Lokome after new comments made by the host which were considered racist. In this section, we'll be deep diving into the Pride Parade in Bokoran, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. Bulk Pride Parade in Bokoran. In mid-2014, with just one month to prepare, Sorono and his organization Puerto Rico Paratodes took charge of the LGBT Pride Parade of Bokoran. Together with his brother Hector and his company Mjika Group, he produced the busiest parade in the history of Puerto Rico with more than 40,000 people in attendance, according to police and media. He has continued to lead Orgolo Bokoran in 2019, 2020 and in the present. Get ready for a thought-provoking discussion as we delve into laws in Puerto Rico and its impact on our understanding. Laws in Puerto Rico In early 2013, he worked directly with Senator Ramon Luis Nieves in the establishment of the Senate Project 238 to prohibit discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity in employment. Also, he collaborated with Representative Luis Vega Ramos in the filing of House Bill 488 to include sexual orientation, marital status and gender identity in the protections of Law 54 that regulate domestic violence. These projects became Law 22 and Law 23 of 2013 when Governor Alejandro Garca Padilla signed them at a ceremony at La Fortaleza with several guests, which included Sano. After meeting with the Secretary of Labor, Vance Thomas and Arturo Rios, the advisor of Labor Affairs of Governor Alejandro Garcia Padilla, an executive order was issued to give the benefit medical plan to cohabiting couples. Later, two bills gave that right to couples in the public and private sector. Also, Serrano was instrumental in pushing the administration to issue an executive order to our transgender people to change their sex markers on driver's licenses. In 2020 he expressed his opposition to changes in the civil code which would create issues related to the sex change in the documents of trans people. Marriage Equality in Puerto Rico Under the leadership of Serrano his organization Puerto Rico Paratodes joined as a co-plaintiff in the federal lawsuit filed by Ada Cond and Yvonne Alvarez to achieve the right to marry folk people in Puerto Rico. In an effort led by Lana Legal for Couples and Puerto Rico Paratodes joined the lawsuit in June 2014. Marriage equality became a reality in the United States in June 2015 and in Puerto Rico it was reaffirmed by a decision from the Federal Appeals Court in July of that same year. Puerto Rico Day Parade Pedro Julio Soromo was announced as one of the key honorees of the Puerto Rican Day Parade in 2016 where he was named Orgolo Puerto Rico or Puerto Rican Pride, the same title that Lin-Manuel Miranda received the prior year. 
his advocacy led the National Puerto Rican Day Parade to dedicate its 2016 parade to the LUP struggle to celebrate the win of marriage equality and to honor the contributions of LUP Puerto Ricans. Pulse Shooting The Pulse nightclub shooting, in which a shooter killed 49 people and wounded 53 more at a LUP bar in Orlando, Florida, occurred the same day that Serrano was honored at the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. Serrano traveled the next day to Orlando, where he met with survivors, grieving families, and authorities. He did more than 100 interviews with local, state, national, and international outlets. He met 14 of the 23 families of the Puerto Ricans that were killed and 11 of the survivors. His advocacy was recognized by the Puerto Rican musician Ricky Martin. He stated in July 2016 that Puerto Rico was still mourning its victims. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting awards and recognitions. Serrano has received numerous awards for his work towards social justice and for the rights of the Puerto Rican and Latino communities. At his high school graduation in 1992, he won the Sister Sheila O'Brien Award the highest honor given at his school for his outstanding contribution to the community. He also received the Leadership Award from the Rotary Club of Isla Verde. In 2000, he was awarded with the Solidarity Award as Male Activist of the Year from the Healing Christ Church. In 2003, he was recognized as one of the most outstanding activists in Puerto Rico by Orgla Brica. In 2004, he was recognized as one of top 10 activists in Latino community by Ambient. In 2005, he was recognized as one of five most outstanding activists by Temptations. In 2007, he received the Pride Award by the PRIDE organization in New York City. In 2009, he received the Bronze Star, Silver Star and the Bravo Award by public acclamation at the Lug Pride Parade in Bokorin. He was also the Grand Marshal of the 7th Lug Pride Parade of the West in Bokorin, Puerto Rico. In addition, in the same year was he was chosen by my late no Voicecom as one of the 25 most influential Latinas. In 2010, he was named one of the five most promising Puerto Ricans in New York by the newspaper Amplitude Modulation New York. In 2010, Serrano received the Puerto Rican Pride Award through a video by the Puerto Rican superstar Ricky Martin. This prize is awarded by Comet Noviembre, an organization that brings together the most important and recognized Boricuas institutions of New York City to extol the identity of the Puerto Ricans in recognition of the immense social, cultural, political and artistic contributions of the Puerto Rican community in the United States. In 2011, he received the annual award of the Queen's Lesbian and Gay Pride Committee and dedicated the prize to a young Puerto Rican 13 years old boy who is openly gay and founded a support group at a school for kids. Serrano was also recognized as outstanding insurgent during the 9th. Colloquium ni una vidams para la toga de la faculta de Derecho Eugenio Mora de Hostas at Miguez, Puerto Rico. That same year, Pedro Julio and his family, including his parents and his brothers, were awarded the Pride Award for Exemplary Family. In New York City for LGBT Pride Month in 2011, Serrano was recognized by the Bronx Pride Community Center, Boogie Down Pride and Brain Power with the LGBTQ Pride Award and Allies in the Bronx. In addition, the Manhattan Borough President, Scott Stringer, recognized him with a proclamation declaring June 23, 2011 as the Pedro Julio Sarno Day at the Manhattan Borough at the annual celebration of Ulk Pride. Also, El Dirio Prensa, the second largest Spanish-language newspaper largest circulation in the U.S., recognized him with E.L. Award, which honors the most influential and prominent Latinos in New York. In addition, in 2011, he was recognized as one of the 10 outstanding young people of Puerto Rico in 2011 by the Junior Chamber International of Puerto Rico. This recognition is historic because it is the first time they picked a young openly gay man to receive such a distinction. The Latino Queen's community, 
through Jessenia Murray Rosa, gave a recognition to Serrano as the leading activist at the Paparazzi Awards in New York City. In 2012, he was also recognized as one of the most influential Latino activists by the Huffington Post. He was also named Honorary Trans America by the Translating Ethnic Group for their solidarity with the trans community in New York City. At the end of 2012, he was named one of the main protagonists of 2012 by the magazine Cars in a Collector's Edition that recognizes the most outstanding figures of the year in Puerto Rico. In mid-2013, he was awarded the Dennis Delian Voice Commitment Award at the Celo Latino Gala of the Latino Commission on AIDS for his tireless advocacy for the rights of the community and people living with HIV. In late 2013, Sorno was named as one of the 20 Latinos trailblazers of the year by being Latino one of the most important social networks of the Latino community in the U.S. In addition, after eight years in New York City, he returned for a year to his home and to continue the fight. In early 2014, Serrano was recognized as one of the rising stars by the Hispanic Latino Coalition. This recognition is given to 40 leaders under 40 who have excelled in various areas in the Latino community. Serrano was one of the key honorees of the National Puerto Rican Day Parade, where he was named Orgolo Puerto Riquea or Puerto Rican Pride. In December, the University Gardens High School dedicated its Puerto Rican celebration to Serrano for his activism in creating a more just society. Also, in late 2016, Serrano was a keynote speaker and the recipient of the special recognition at the Puerto Rican Leadership Summit in Orlando, Florida, and was named as one of the 11 most prominent Latinos by NBC Latino. In 2021, Soromo was named one of the Latino leaders who are making Latino history when he was nominated to the Good Morning America's Inspiration List 2021. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications.